Greetings, what's up everybody? Welcome, welcome to the live for tonight. Our reading is going to be T.J. Moses and D'Angelo is what we're going to do. So, greetings, 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 greetings. So let's go ahead and get to it. So I'm going to do two D'Angelo songs and two T.J. Moses songs. It was not easy to choose. It's, it's never easy, you know, a good artist. It's never easy to choose. So, um, I just did what came through first. So, I have pile one, pile two, three, and four. So, four piles to choose from. You may be drawn to more than one pile. Um, don't make it a habit to choose this one and that one and, like, confuse yourself. So, just go with what you're guided to do, as I always say. Use your discernment. Use your own intuition. What's up, everybody? So, um, because this is live, I might be saying hello and stuff like that, but I'm not going to be distracted by the chat. Once I get started in this reading, I'm zoned in, I'm tuned in, okay? Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Let me show you the piles, you guys. You might be familiar with these songs or you may not be, but maybe you're drawn to um, the wording or maybe even just the number. So, pile one is Lady by D'Angelo, you know. One of my favorite songs by him. It'd be coming in my head a lot. So, pile number two, Tedra Moses, You'll Never Find. Pile number three by D'Angelo, Brown Sugar. It's another, you know, another little vibe right there. Number four is Tedra Moses, Are You For Real, which is one of my songs too. I like these songs. It's hard to choose. It was like, it wasn't easy to choose them, but, you know. Okay. So that was your selections. I'm going to give you guys a minute to meditate and reflect on your pile. Um, and then we'll go ahead and start in a minute here. So I'll give you guys a second to choose. started if you guys were drawn to pile number one which is going to be lady by d'angelo this is it for you this is your reading so what i like to do in the beginning is tap into the energies of who your person is you know just to give you a feel if this is the right pile keep in mind because there's going to be multiple people watching not every archetype is going to resonate with you so please you know use your discernment to say okay that's enough to know if this is my person or not i might even pick up on your energy as well as far as like who you are so this can give you clarity if this pile does not resonate with you you can try another pile if it be that it does not resonate then maybe it's just not the reading for you period but let's go ahead and tap in spirit thank you we have virgos and leo energy in the house you guys could be direct opposites. Your signs could be the opposites. I can't remember how it works. Like, I know my opposite sign is Scorpio. So you guys could be like opposites of the zodiac, you and your person. Your sun signs could be in opposition of each other. Um, so that might be something. You guys are very... Um, attractive people you and your person something with roses herbs all of that okay this connection like one of you is real um outgoing more so than the other person the other is more i wouldn't i'm not getting like an introvert energy i just feel like one person may be a little more practical more serious whereas the other person is more um out there more outgoing i feel like this connection kind of it could be you or your person the other party who's more reserved is like this connection is pulling you to face your biggest fears i feel like um somebody might wear glasses <laughs> spirit why you want me to like I'm not going to say the P word on here. I'm going to keep it clean. Okay. We're going to keep it clean. All right. Um, PG 13 if we can. Okay. Someone has big P energy, like real dominant feminine, like cookie from like <laughs> from empire type energy. I don't know who that is, but 
cheers to you all right let's see yeah this connection is it's not um one where you can stay in your comfort zone like you guys both push each other out of your comfort zone but i feel one of you um someone could be going through ascension symptoms right now could be a masculine energy that's going through an ascension got my mama here kali Ma. um so yeah this connection i feel like is like here to dismantle a lot of things that are a block to you like this connection yeah so you you guys marry each other you guys trigger each other so whatever is within the self that there's a fear the other person highlights that fear it's like getting on a roller coaster and everybody else is getting on the roller coaster and it's like you gonna get on or you're not gonna get on oh you you know you're a scaredy cat you're like shit i might as well just get on it like this connection kind of pushes you to come out of your comfort zone and face your biggest fear because it's like there's something with ascension so one of you guys could be growing at a rapid pace in the other in some way so it kind of encourages the other person to do it but not in the easy way where it's like inspired action like oh i want to get my sh i want to be like them it's like oh god this is like i can't but it's something that's pulling me it's like it's a pull it's not something you're being forced into um this connection is helping you and your person move into who you truly are there's something about coming out of your shadows okay this could be something with serpents here or it's like kundalini like okay yeah someone is going through like a, a kundalini awakening or this connection was so my, like right here okay yeah you guys might even be clairsentient or something or you feel like this person's energy is very strong where you feel like they come like they visit you Yeah, one of you guys is a healer and the other is like really, I would say, I'm going to just be real. One of you is like really superficial, all about your money and like pretty much that's it and not really into going deep within yourself or your emotions. So the other person is like that pearl of wisdom that's giving them, giving the other person those jewels, those gems. And it's like it pushes, again, it's something with pushing you out of your comfort zone and them out of their comfort zone this connection is like meant to bring about an evolution and revolution within the self but um you guys have you and your person may have the same eye shape or something or something about your eyes look the same it could be one of you is um like indian and the other is like um european or something like yeah it's like a an ethnic woman and maybe a white male or masculine energy like a feminine eth ethnic feminine woman and then a white male or white masculine energy for some of you i'm also getting two women so one the who's more of the feminine woman is possibly african-american or some type of african descent and the other female which is more masculine is um white i feel like i don't know that's what i'm saying you guys are direct opposites too someone is very um self-seeking like i feel someone here is very superficial there could be aries here as well someone is more heart-centered more open some of you guys this could be your boyfriend and you had a past life with this person I'm, I'm getting strong virgos too like there's a lot of virgo energy that wants to come out so let's see perhaps you can have virgo leo aries in your second house it's also taurus energy okay so let's go a little further into this connection i want to see like where you guys like what's the history of all of this You guys could have met this person at a party. Yeah, I was not expecting you. What the fuck did you do to me? Excuse my language. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, yeah, some hermits. You guys are Virgos. You or your person is a Virgo. That's strong. Very strong. Um, you guys are complete opposite, for real. So I feel like you guys met... Um, 
something you guys could have met in a work setting or you guys could have met at a party This is not going to be for everybody, but there's someone there's someone out there that may have dreamt about meeting someone significant before they actually met. So I guess you could say like a premonition or something like it's not going to be for everyone, but someone saw this before it happened. Could be the Virgo person. Could also be Scorpio, could also be Libra energy too. Um Pisces maybe. Yeah, so one of you guys, like, I feel was more bolder, more open, maybe more flirty than the other person, or, but I feel like wherever you guys met, it was, like, an unlikely place to meet this person. I'm seeing something with the elevator. It doesn't have to be that you guys met this person in the elevator, but something significant with elevators. I don't know, that's what I'm seeing. One of you guys is like slow moving and the other person is like fast moving, like wants things to happen very quickly. It's also Sagittarius energy too. Where this connection is, is like very, um, I feel like you guys are getting signs of synchronicities because you're not getting much from this person in the physical. It's, it's like nothing really i'm not getting anything like moving right now or so it seems definitely feel like there's a dynamic where there if there is a leo energy specifically this person may feel like this connection was smothering to them you guys might get triggered by this i'm not seeing a lot of energy with this pile like i don't know if you're asking about an ex or something or if you've never been with this person or dated them, um, I feel like there's a desire to have a relationship with them, but this person is like, just not on the scene. Like, I feel like right now this person does not want, um, they don't want to be healed or something. They're very stubborn and this person is very stubborn, very prideful, um, maybe even sneaky. Like, they don't want to change whoever this person is. Like, I'm sorry to say, like, I just had to keep it real. I don't, I'm not getting, like, this person is actively trying to get their shit together. Seem stuck and set in their ways. And the, I feel like spirit is trying to, like, using you both to help each other heal whatever you need to heal or just like find some type of balance in your opposition but this person is like they don't see a problem and i'm gonna say no i take that back spirit before i say that thank you yeah they're like prideful like i'm not changing you can get ghosts like this is a cut off queen cut off king like you can get ghosts i don't care they're that type of person they might have like a smart ass mouth too. <laughs> I don't know who this person is. Oh, you got a little handful on you. You got the eight of cups, yeah. I hope this isn't the case, but this is a pregnant woman here. I hope this person did not get ghosts on you after they got you pregnant. Some of you guys may have walked away from this person and you're like, I just, I can't fix you. I, there's nothing that I can do. To, like you're just gonna stay the same. And maybe what propelled you to do this or what motivated you was the fact that you were pregnant or you found out that you were pregnant. Yeah, there's a pregnant woman here. In this card even. So this person could even put you in a situation with multiple parties, like other women or other men. Um, this person was not ready to settle down. This is a past life connection. The moon. Yeah, you're kind of confused where you stand. There's three. Yeah, this is like a third party energy in this connection. You guys could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius person with the King of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Or this person just is very like kind of harsh and with their tongue. And if you're if this pregnancy part does not resonate, you guys could have thought that you guys were building something together. You thought you were initiating a connection and this person um 
yeah you kind of feel victimized by this person in some type of way kind of stuck there could be something with the springtime that's significant to this connection you thought you were nurturing something with this person you're not getting the answers that you seek from them I feel like Spirit is saying, like, it's time for you to release this energy. There's some pent-up energy, pent-up emotions. This person did run away due to fear. I'm, I see that. Like, this person dipped out due to the fact that they were afraid. That was a block. Their shadow was coming up, and they were more afraid of their shadow than they were with you. Um, remember how I was saying this connection is meant to highlight your biggest fear. So, yeah, this person is like, they're not running from you. In essence, who they're running from is themselves. And whatever it is that you're showing them, is that's what they're running from. A Pisces energy is coming up strongly, too. Like, this person could have just left you confused. I thought we were building something. So, there's still some type of attachment to this person that I feel like the ties have not been severed. I don't feel like this is a healthy connection at least not right now there's a lot of karmic energy that's coming out whether this is a karmic connection period or it's like you guys got to clear out some karma in your life this person um was keeping secrets from you and they know that you don't trust them i feel like someone like overlooked the red flags this person is choosing to focus on themselves. They're running from their emotions. Like you may have provoked a lot, like you may have conjured up a lot of emotions in this person and it caused this person to run from that because it was like you were showing them their, their own shadow and yeah, they were running from it. You were calling this person to make a change that they were not ready to make. And I don't feel like it was like, some of you guys may have been trying to lock this person down in some type of way or you wanted to be that healer, that nurturer for this person and they wouldn't allow you to do it. They may have for a time. Um, some of you guys, this is like a karmic loop with this person. Like it's a breakup to make up situation with this individual or it's like a situation ship with this person where you're just back and forth, back and forth with them. How does this person feel? How do they feel about... Yep, I got spooked. So they feel like they need to just put their energy, you know, wherever it's at right now. Again, that's that avoidance. And I don't feel like it's so much you. Um, they don't want you to take what they did or their actions too personally. Because it wasn't... In essence, it wasn't you. I feel like they know that they made you feel rejected in some type of sense. They're afraid that you're going to reject them if they come back around. Especially those of you that are on a, a constant cycle, constant loop with this person. Yeah, they know that you don't trust them. This person is sexually attracted to you, though. I do get, like, sexual energy. Like, this person enjoyed the sex and all of that, and they had found pleasure in your company but when it came to like getting too deep this person just didn't have the ability to it was like an inability to meet you on your emotional level and i feel like it was that that block um if you guys work in the same like building or something like that i'm getting or you guys have the same social circle they do check on you or check for you still um some of you, this person might come back around, but I don't feel like it's going to be permanently. So just be mindful because I feel like it's a pattern. It's a cycle with this person. And I feel like you know better anyway, but, you know, take it resonates. Just, you know, it's just a heads up that it's a possibility that this person could come back around and not be stable. They cause a lot of confusion. This person caused a lot of confusion. And I feel like it's because they're confused within themselves. So let's see what can you potentially expect to come out of this current energy. Yeah, it's like this person just, they kind of, I feel like that it's a heavy heart. Like this person left you with a heavy heart, heavy energy. You have the, like there's a power that you have that you don't understand. That you can shift this energy. 
yeah this person is all about confusion they're just a confusing person with these clouds and this certainty card some of you guys may be still caught up in confusion in their future and you're seeking that clarity if that makes sense Someone could be a master at mind games, too. Ugh. Okay, so devil card is in reverse. So this is like a karmic energy, I feel like. But someone's coming out of it. The Ace of Pentacles. Some of you might not see the divine gift in this. Like what the, the gem was in all of this. But I feel like in the near future, you will. There's something about honoring and loving the self with the, the Queen of Cups and Ten of Cups. Like, don't give up on your dream. Like, your dream... In essence of what you truly want in a love partnership and I'm not just get I'm not saying it like specifically like aiming at a person I feel like just in general that that dream that you're wishing for it is going to come to pass do not settle it might be that you thought that this was the one but this person was not they just weren't what they appear to be or something like that so I see you with this Queen of Cups this is someone that I feel like is loving themselves and nurturing themselves the queen of cups is a giver you know emotionally she has a lot of love to give so and unfortunately sometimes in her shadow because you know i had some people get offended before when i say what i say but all the queens they all have a shadow side everybody has a shadow and the shadow side of the queen of cups she overextends her energy she puts a lot um she gives to those that she loves and care about to the point where she's depleted and she has nothing left for herself so i feel like the lesson here was self-love um and not to shame yourself when it comes to how deep you can love people you know if it was pure and true and unconditional you didn't lose anything you didn't lack anything in the situation i feel like it's just teaching you better boundaries purifying and cleansing your heart chakra i'm getting to um so there is a relationship for you if it's not with this person which i'm gonna be honest i don't feel like it but you know i'm not god so i can't see everything you know i can only see what spirit's showing me as of now but i feel like there is a happy relationship something that you truly deserve for you and i don't feel like for some of you it's too far away especially if you're in the space of receptivity for love and you're allowing it and your heart is open and it's not closed you're gonna attract this much sooner so that is what I'm getting for pile number one. I hope that resonated with you guys. All right. That was a lot of messages, but hey, pile number one. Okay. Pile number two. First time I ever heard Miss Tedra Moses was this song right here. Um, where we at? 2316. Yeah. So pile number two, you'll never find by T.J. Moses. It's one of my songs. So let's see. All right. What we dealing with here, spirit? Keep in mind, this is general. I'm only tapping into the archetypes first, or I'm going to tap inside. I'm going to tap into the archetypes first of who your person is, and maybe it'll tap into who you are as well. So you'll know whether this pile is for you, but because there's going to be multiple people watching, not every archetype is going to resonate with you. So only tune in and tap in and then, you know, discern what's meant for you. If this pile does not resonate, try another pile. If none of them resonate. It may not be the message for you at this time, you know. Use your intuition, you guys, please. All right. Pile number two, individuals. What's going on? Oh, for sure. Okay. Sagittarius, Cancer, or Aries energy may be involved. Um, you guys have a deep connection or you guys go way back. I feel like this connection causes you to, like, soul search and seek to find who you really are or this person feels this way it's a lot of passion as well it's a strong masculine energy it's a lot of do-it-yourself energy i'm picking up you guys are like 
someone is like thoroughly independent. may travel a lot or just like you learn a lot from each other oh okay someone got activated by their person or you activated your person in some type of way it's like this mother mary energy that maybe you have or your person has do for others as you would do unto yourself i'm hearing i don't know so you guys could be very selfless when it comes to love or your person's very selfless and is giving. Your person is a light being or if you're a masculine energy, you're a light. Like your light is very um, radi it radiates. Someone's favorite stone or crystal could be an amethyst stone. This in hmm. You guys have a big um, purpose or calling, whether that be together, but I feel more so individually, regardless. You guys have big callings in life. Um, I do feel like this connection holds an important lesson. It doesn't have to be anything negative. I don't feel a heavy energy with this group, um, but I do feel a lot of importance in this energy, though, or this connection. There's something significant about this connection that is in you know importance right now. You guys may encourage each other on a subconscious level. Um, like I said, it's deeply rooted energy. You guys may come from the same soul tribe or you guys in this lifetime, you know, you have the same lineage or something similar. Something with your culture may be similar. Um, this connection gives you guys hope. This might be a connection where you have to stay grounded. You have to be patient. Um... Okay, so someone has blue eyes or has like brown eyes. Getting like a thicker person, like someone that's thicker built or full, you know, um, fuller man or fuller woman. Someone is like really capable of overcoming their biggest challenges, like... Or anything that comes along in this connection, I don't feel like... Because it's like I'm getting a fighter energy. One of you may be a boxer or boxes or something, or whether it's just a hobby. But I feel um, whatever comes your way, you guys have the ability to overcome it. Like someone has an infinite ability of positive... Like to see things in a positive light or someone has crazy faith, like... Getting masculine and feminine energy, you guys are very, very intuitive. Someone knows, like, y'all, you know things. You may not know everything, the ins and the outs of this connection, but you guys are in tune enough to hear spirit, you know? And I feel like the person, whether they're masculine or feminine, knows what's going on. I feel like there's a masculine energy that's an old soul, very advanced person. I, I'm almost like, I don't feel like they're from this planet, like, they might be from somewhere else. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Y'all might think I'm sounding crazy. But I don't feel like they're from here. Um, yeah. Sometimes you can get impatient with this person or this connection. Or someone is quick to anger. Someone may, like, be very outspoken. Okay, someone may resonate with elephants, turtles, camels, something with camels. I would look those animal totems up even if you like those are not your choice of animals. I'm getting something with that, a camel. So it's like something recently could have happened where or maybe in the recent past that was very trying and made you almost want to give up or make your person almost want to give up, but it's like no matter what, you still keep going. This connection is like an adventure. You guys are not in control of how this goes. This is under divine order. I feel like the feminine understands that. Ooh. What the fuck? 
I'm using my old cards um, that I used to use a while ago, like back in the day. You guys probably remember these note cards. You got the wife and husband card. You can't really see it because it's pink handwriting. You guys could be married or you guys may be getting married. The masculine energy is a good guy, a good man, angelic help. This could be a divine connection. This could definitely be a divine connection. Could be something with the number nine, number four. Um, this could be a divine connection. You guys are receiving some angelic assistance and help with this one. Yeah, this connection is like a plant that you have to be patient in water. Be patient with each other with this. Yeah, this is a divine connection. This is a faded connection. You have the lovers and the wheel of fortune. Um, this is a general reading, so I am i can't say that this prophecy is for every single person. Um, you got to know it within yourself. You got to consult your spiritual guides, you know. Your creator that knows all, that knows you and your person to the T, knows everything about you. Because me as a reader, I'm only able to get what spirit wants me to. And this is not a personal reading. So you guys got to keep in mind that you tap in and you watch readings. You got to know how to discern when spirit is speaking to you versus just taking everything. Because there's multiple people that watch and spirit is going to speak to those people. And you're going to know if it's for you or not within yourself. If you're not able to discern, you shouldn't be watching readings if you don't know how to discern for yourself what's for you and what's not for you. Because um, you'll just be led astray just watching and sitting readings and listening to what sounds good and taking it. If it sounds bad, you get upset, you get in your feelings. Some messages are not for everybody. You just have to know to, how to discern what is for you. So you have the will of fortune and the lovers. I do feel like this is a divine connection for those that this resonates with. Um, you guys are meant to be together. I feel like the masculine knew first. Like the masculine knew immediately that either there was something significant about the feminine or they knew that you were there. Was, if you're the feminine, like the masculine knew that the feminine was the one. Like knew, knows, like there's no doubt about it. As a human, we're going to waver and stuff like that. But this masculine knows. Like, I recognize you or... Yeah. I feel like this masculine energy looked at this connection as a gift, as a blessing coming from the divine. And I feel like they were... Like, this is an advanced masculine energy. Like I said, I don't feel like they're from here. So they could be from another planet and their energy is like way above... 3d energy or if they've been here before they're very wise they're very um grounded in their energy they are master at manifesting in the physical so they could have manifested you i mean this is an interesting energy i don't i don't know it's interesting um but there was some hurt here with the three of swords for like someone for some of you, it was like a heads up that you would have to go through some type of hurt with this person. Or the pain for some of you is just the fact that you had to wait for them. Like the wait is so long. It's like, what's taking this connection so long? Like, I just want to be together. So some of you guys, it's the waiting, but you guys have to allow it to happen. I do feel like this is a connection that is it needs to be seasoned. It's like soul food, you know, you got to you gotta cook it. It takes all day to cook soul food. You know, it's not... It ain't no microwavable pop it in it's not no hot pocket love like you can't just pull up in the drive-thru and get your food you gotta let that shit marinate overnight sometimes it might take all day to cook no matter how many people are in the kitchen think of your angels as like grandma mama auntie and everybody in the kitchen cooking cooking different things look at it that way um this isn't a, a microwave relationship it's not a popcorn relationship it takes time this is a seasoned energy If that makes sense so let's see currently where you guys are with each other now where's the energy now yeah so there's a need for forgiveness because someone could be looking at this connection from their ego and kind of wanting to manipulate and control it the way they want this is a connection that's not you guys are not in control of this spirit has got this your higher your spiritual team you guys gotta surrender and let go because there is some type of blessing and promise at the end of this connection 
a rainbow may be very significant to this this bond um someone may want to extend an apology to the other person too the shadow is like yeah this is faded the Wheel of Fortune came out again. This is a faded connection. This is a blessed connection. But with the Ace of Pentacles, Pentacles are slow-moving energy sometimes. They're like, they're like seeds of a plant. You got to allow them to grow. You got to have patience and time. But your spiritual guides are all over this connection. Again, this masculine energy is wise, very wise. They're soul-searching right now. This masculine energy is no dummy. <laughs> they're not at all. They are no dummy. I'm telling you. They know what's going on or they're in tune enough. Like they know enough of what spirit needs them to know at this time. They don't have to know everything, but they know what spirit wants them to know at this time. Um, this person or you, if you're the masculine, I feel like you find this feminine very beautiful. Or if you're feminine, they find you very beautiful whether you're male or female, but this feminine energy is very beautiful. They may want to stick a baby in the oven. Five of Cups, but somebody's like disappointed. Don't think for a second that the other person doesn't feel disappointed that this connection is not happening yet. Um, someone could also be dealing with past hurts and pains. Someone might need to forgive the past, whether it's the past from this person or past lovers where it was unrequited love situation. Someone hasn't fully let go of an unrequited love connection in the past. Connection where there were no equal give and take. Maybe in the past this person disappointed you because they did not give you what you wanted or needed at the time. But I feel like the lesson here is patience. Seven of Pentacles came out in another deck. Again, the lesson here is to have patience because spirit is still giving you some type of blessings you and your person but it's like someone's so pessimistic that they don't see the blessings that the divine is giving to them in this connection don't do spirit like that i mean I, you know i can't talk because sometimes i'll be getting in my feelings too and i'll be like not seeing the good and everything you can miss out on the gems and miss out on the journey when you're like too focused and looking at what you don't have Okay. so i feel like feminine energy you could be very prideful at times masculine could feel like you're very prideful they but they know you deserve respect and you do demand it i do see that um you have the four of wands so feminine energy do what it is that you're called to do right now when it comes to building your union and when it comes to protecting your union right now just because the other person is not physically in the picture all of the way spirits giving you instructions on how to prepare for a union that's what i'm hearing the um judgment card is like there's some old energies that may be coming up to the surface why this angel got big titties anyway some of you guys might have nice you know cup sizes okay or if you're masking you know you have a nice chest or something because you know he you know he looks a little you know, it's a little nice right here anyway <laughs> anyway so i feel like your spiritual team is calling you out or this could be someone's higher self calling them out on some old energies that need to come up and need to be released because you're being prepared for union you don't have time to get in your ego spirit saying there's no time for that you guys got shit to do and it's not about coming together just so y'all can lay up and have babies and stuff this is something greater like i said this is uh, yeah this is divine you have the hierophant card so the masculine energy is I feel not even just the masculine energy. I feel like you guys are getting the gems and the tools. These lovers, they're consulting this hierophant, right? This is a, a divine power. They're both submitting to this. You guys got to be humble before spirit or humble before your higher selves. Like the lighter, the light attribute of yourself that's calling you to something greater. You guys have to submit to that. You can't be in your ego. Oh, they didn't do this. Oh, they should have did that. Oh, this happened to me. Like... You're missing the whole point of what the divine connection entails. You got to be in your divinity in order to even call and master this energy and call it in. Because your higher selves, I can see what your higher selves are. They're very powerful, but it's like you got to be in the position to manifest that. So it's something that spirit's calling you guys to do. Um, this is a time for you guys to retreat or to remain in that period of retreating. Because when you go within, you're going to get a lot of clarity. Yeah, 
this person already knows who you are. You guys know who each other is. Recognition, you already know. You don't need anyone to tell you that. You don't need me to tell you that. Like, go to your spiritual guides and get that guidance for yourself. The inner child needs some healing. Could be the feminine's inner child that needs some healing. The healing card. So you guys could be going through ascension. You guys could be having... Um, awakening kundalini awakenings and things like that spirit wants you to work on going within more whether that's meditating more whether that's praying more just centering yourself so you can hear spirit because they're guiding you the muse card this person could see you as their muse you guys may look at each other as the motivating force like alia says in at your best like you're the motivating force within my life you're being guided by each other or you guys help each other to get through the healing like this connection is something serious it's not a frivolous connection you can't take it light but like the feminine energy you are bound by some, like some energy if you guys had a question spirit saying that it's yes whatever it might be um yeah you guys have the ability to be a, a powerful couple to like to shed light on things I feel like the feminine energy is very nurturing and loving when they're healed very receptive and, and loving and then you have the masculine that's very wise a wise teacher wise counsel like you guys have different roles to play in each other's life you guys can't afford to be in your ego okay let's see what is your person i want you to know what do i want to say to you Red pill or blue pill, spirit said. I don't, I don't know. That's what spirit. Okay, red pill, blue pill. All right. Um. Yeah, you feel like home to this person. They believe you're an angel or something. Like, yeah, you guys see each other's higher selves. Like, you might look at them as like, oh my gosh, this person is amazing. Beyond their physical attributes, you see this person's soul or something. And they see yours too. Um, if you guys are not in contact, this person doesn't feel like they're ready to communicate with you right now i do get this person could make you mad because they it's like a feeling of they are keeping you waiting like you're using your some of you guys feel like this person was using you but you feel like this person is holding up something or you feel like time is wasting but again this is a plant you gotta nurture this thing it's not gonna sprout overnight you gotta nurture this this person needs time to figure their life out. They need to figure out some things. And spirit is speaking to the both of you. So you got to like, you got to remove yourself um, physically out of this connection for a second and take it inward to understand. It's like this connection is like a Da Vinci code or something. What? What the hell? Not Da Vinci code. I don't really know what that means. Yeah, someone's afraid to let go of their patterns. Like, someone is stuck in their ways, and it's kind of like, someone's afraid to let it go. Someone needs to take accountability. Masculine is curious about you. They're taking this inward. I'm telling you, the hermit card came out for a reason. The hermit is someone that is going within self. They're soul searching. They could be at work amongst a busy a busy office or whatever this person could be at a party and still be internalizing and paying attention to watching everything listening tapping into spirit as they're still amongst other people like this is someone that's very in tune i feel like this is a masculine energy but it could also be a feminine but it's like more so the feminine is putting too much of her energy into the external aspect of this connection and of their their masculine that they're not in tune with what spirit's saying about the connection I was getting this earlier. I was doing a reading for um, a client read, and I was telling them that sometimes, like when you think about a person so much, like you automatically think, "Okay, I'm obsessing. There's something wrong." But that could be something spirit's trying to get your attention and say, "There's a reason why I'm showing you this. So there's a reason why you're thinking about this person." Tap into yourself. Or tap in and ask spirit to give you clarity as to why. This person is not interested in anyone else. They're not out here, like, putting their energy out here in multiple cups. If there was someone else, they would make it clearly known that they have someone. Like, it's not a mystery. It's not, oh, is this person? You would know. Um, in the beginning, this person knew there was something significant about you, but they just didn't know how significant this connection was. Like I said, they recognize you. 
some of them I feel like they do know or did know at the beginning that you were you know the one or something or they felt like you're familiar they know what they know all right what can you expect to come out of this connection in the near coming future potentially this is not going to be for everyone it might manifest differently for each and every one of you be open with spirit you guys not all prophecies are for everybody you guys are going to master illusions i'm telling you there's a masculine energy that is don't fuck with him okay or them they're a wise piece right here okay wise so you guys are going to see past some type of illusion this masculine energy is going to help you do that some of you guys are still indecisive about this connection you don't fully believe it all of the way you still doubt it and i feel like this person's teaching you to master your fears master the illusion of this reality red pill blue pill that might be for someone i don't know because someone's like a pendulum they just swing it back and forth yes no you know how that could go I resonate with that. Oh, yes, no, this, this. Oh, I don't know. I don't trust. And you got to, yeah, because there's something about giving into an illusion. Some of you guys might need to take a spiritual bath and cleanse yourself under a full moon. So the next full moon, if you feel led to, take a spiritual bath and cleanse your energy. You might want to put some type of herbs in there. Yeah. So union is it, possible. Like, it's, it's inevitable, I feel like, because there's an angel that's going to bring this together. But you guys have to do the work. You have to dispel old energies and put into this foundation. You have to water this foundation and release the old, the junk out of the past. Someone is still bitter. So I feel in the near future, there may be, could be a masculine that's cutting and freeing themselves from some old energies because they're doing work too it's not just the feminists doing work you guys are both doing work the eight of swords in reverse if this person left you in a place where you were confused like i said i'm getting clarity is coming it's not going to come from this person though it's going to come from spirit it's going to come from your spiritual team archangel michael is here protecting this connection my phone lit up and it was 9 11 it's 9 17 now but around the time that i started your reading it was 9 11 so I feel like Archangel Michael is here. This connection is being divinely protected. You're going to get what you desire and much more than what you desire, like much more than what you desire, but you've got to be in a place of receptivity with the Queen of Cups and you have to tap into your intuition. You got to feel, I feel like some of you guys are externalizing your energy too much, like looking at what it looks like to where you're missing the deeper points of this, like this connection. It's much deeper than that. It's not typical. So that's what I'm getting for pile number two. I hope that resonated. And I'm going to move on to pile number three. Uh, I can't see. 4807. 4807 for pile number three. D'Angelo's brown sugar. All right. So I'm going to tap into the archetypes of your person just to see if we're tapping into the right guy, right girl, whatever. May tap into your energy as well. May pick up on your attributes and personality and traits and stuff like that. Um, keep in mind because it's a general energy. Multiple people will be watching. Spirit has a message for multiple people. Not every message is meant for every person watching. So you have to discern what message is for you. You know, how spirit is speaking to you. If it be that this pile does not resonate, try another pile. And if it doesn't resonate, spirit may not have a message for you in this reading at this time. Okay. So let's see your person. Let's tap into your person's energy pile number three. Okay. Someone's anxious or someone has butterflies in their stomach or this person makes you feel that. Um... Hmm, this connection is like a mystery or you're like a mystery to this person could be Scorpio energies in here too it's a lot of deep connectedness a lot of sensual sexual energy it's intense someone feels a big responsibility in some sense like in their life someone feels called to something greater or they just feel like they have a big 
um, mm, just have like a big, yeah, purpose and reason to things. You have Saturn. So someone could be working on clearing out old energies at the moment, clearing out karma. Someone has big self-control and um, I feel like this person is spiritual. They might have a practice that they, um, or they have like a master or they have like a priest that they go to. This person is big on their spirituality and meditating. I definitely feel like this could be a feminine and masculine, but it could be either or. This could, another pile, divine counterparts in another pile here because this card to me is like a twin energy. So you guys could definitely resonate with each other on a deep level. Yeah, there's a masculine energy that has a deep connection with the divine. They listen. They have a, a strong intuition. They meditate a lot. I feel like this person is spiritually awakened. Um, their crown chakra, like, they, they channel messages through spirit. I feel like feminine energy, you feel a calling to this earth or you feel like a strong connection with the earth and the planet and... Um, could be like an earth sign or water sign for some of you. Spirit is also saying that there's a feminine energy that, um, is grounded or needs to maintain balance and groundedness, but this is a sacred connection. You guys may share similar visions, um, for your life, or you guys may share literally similar visions or experiences or something. You guys came here to heal and forgive others. You guys also are, I feel like this connection is meant to show you to seek beyond limitations. This universe is infinite. infinite. There's only limitations of what we put up. This 3D reality is an illusion, but it is a place of limits, but there is no limits here. So I feel like, again, this is another pile where this connection is like teaching you or helping you to tune in and tap in further to your divinity and to all that is, if that makes sense. There's a lot of unpredictability in this connection. It's unknown, like what this is or what's to come out of it all of the way. I don't feel like, yeah, some of you guys don't really know what to expect from this connection. I get like the masculine energy is very independent or someone that you would call a loner or prefers to be alone. You could have broke up with this person. There's unconditional love here. You guys may have broken up and I feel like spirit is trying to get you guys to see that reconciliation in a, in a full capacity cannot happen until you guys heal until you forgive. If it be that you've never been with this person before, it could be that you you went through a breakup that you never forgave that person and you still have to heal because if you try to attract love in this energy, it's going to be a temporary connection. And I feel like spirit's wanting to, you know, help you to avoid that. There's something with needing to have unconditional love. Of course, it starts within yourself. You have to have that compassion. And I feel like that's what spirit is teaching one of you or both of you. Okay, so let's see what else here. What's going on? What the hell? I don't know if this person ever said this is this is too much. Like why? You extra, whoever this person is, like who's your daddy now? Like what the hell? Like, I don't know. Who, who be talking like that? <laughs> who be talking like that? Like go sit your ass down somewhere. This way. <laughs> All right. Okay. There was some disappointments in the past in a relationship, whether it be with this person or a past relationship someone has never fully recovered from that and I, I feel like spirit is working on someone right now someone is their heart is being worked on you guys could have met this person at work or something dealing with work some of you guys is a sporting event or something yeah could also be that there's some people involved in this connection, like 
people that don't have the best interest or just a, a lot of people meddling or just being all up in the mix. But I feel like someone is still recovering from a past relationship. Someone didn't fully get over that situation. It's, like, it's still some type of pain here. This, co this connection is like a puzzle. Like there's so many pieces to the puzzle. Someone is like itching to find out what this connection is all about. What the next step is. There's shadow work that's being involved here. I feel also this connection is so mysterious that it makes you tap further into the mysteries of the universe in some type of way. It's, it's kind of similar to one of the piles. I'm not going to say which pile if you guys are just tuning in or you watch this after the live. But something with the Da Vinci Code, like this connection is very mysterious. It's got layers to it. All right, let's see where this person is with you now. How do they feel about this connection about you now? Yeah, someone is like, this is deja vu. Someone feels like this connection is deja vu. Like, I've experienced this before, or this is like a broken record. This connection is, it has a cycle that it keeps, yeah, it's a past life connection. Six of Cups, so yeah, deja vu. Like, I remember you. There's something significant about you. I feel a connection. So this person feels a connection to you. There could be distance. And this person kind of rejects themselves sometimes when it comes to you. And they really need to work on their fears. Um, this person needs to do some shadow work. But I feel like with the Nine of Swords and the Five of Pentacles, this person feels like they may not be good enough for you i feel like this person may like idealize you or put you up on a pedestal a little bit and sees you as like this beautiful being that they can't fully obtain but they want to like i feel a connection to this person but they're so far away or they're just obtainable like unobtainable if that's the right word um i heard they're interesting so if this is a distance like maybe you guys met online or something like that a dating site something um or you guys had to move away from each other but i feel like this person is dealing with some some past hurt like spirits kind of conjuring this up but this person feels some type of pull and call to you they want to explore this connection so for some of you this is not someone you've been with this is someone that's been through a, a painful past i feel like you have as well you guys may resonate on that level um, cause I get like, this is a lighthearted energy. I don't feel like you guys have dealt with this person. I don't feel for everybody. Um, with the death card. So the death card is here. Someone's definitely going through a major transformation. This connection is like the Scorpio energy is very strong. It's very passionate. It's very intense and it does require a change that might not be easy from the start. It's not easy got a lot of major arcana cards so this what comes with this connection inevitably is a major shift and major change within yourselves um it is meant to teach you that the infinity of the universe again that's something with infinity this person feels like you're the ultimate fulfillment like they might fantasize about you know kissing you touching you so there could be some distance or this person is having dreams about you yeah, I do feel like there's distance. You got the three of wands, too. So there's some distance. The six of cups came out twice. So this person resonates with you on a deep level. They feel like they are connected to you in some type of way. They feel like you're someone that they want to hold on to. You can have really nice legs. This person's attracted to you. Something with stripper heels. So what are they? They're not called, well, the slang, they're called stripper heels. But they're called pleasure heels. So something with that, or you guys have really nice feet, nice legs, or your, you know, your person does. But this person wants to have babies with you. This is a lot of deep energy, a lot of deep fantasizing with the fishes here. It makes me think of um, the Pisces energy, which is a dreamer energy. All right, so it's kind of like maybe this connection is just a fantasy for this person at this point. Like, they might not feel like it's obtainable. The five of swords try to come out again. Yeah, this person may wrestle with their ego saying, oh, I don't know if I can have this or if this person and I are even meant to be. But 
Yeah. Some of you feel like you need to release this dream and go in a different direction, but like something for some of you, something won't allow you to do that. Like you can't just walk away from this connection or spirits telling you to wait for a second. Not just yet. Don't make any big moves just yet. Or this person is like feeling, should I let this person go? Because you guys have not reached that full conclusion of what this connection is. Like, what is it? You guys haven't reached that. There's something with sea animals, um, dolphins, whales, or something with, sh like, sharks. Something with the ocean. So, it's, like, really big energy. Very big emotions. A lot of depth. This person is, like, feeling like, should I let go of this? And I feel like you might be feeling the same. Should I let go of this dream? The spirit's telling you to hold off. Yep. What did I say? You've been in my dreams. This person does have dreams about you, but I feel like they also fantasize too. Um, they're afraid to communicate with you in some type of way, but they feel like you've helped them be a better person. So they're inspired by you in some type of way. So this person does seek some counsel like i said um it says i asked around about you mutual friends psychics etc this person has some type of priest or some type of master that they go to like to help identify maybe they see uh maybe they go to like therapy or something or they talk to someone that they feel like is a wise counsel to help them sort through what they're feeling this person looks at you as like a go-getter you're ambitious they really respect you this person wants to do a lot for you like they want to be the one yeah i figured i seen the ace of pentacles on the other cards and i felt like they were keeping something of yours so they might have pictures and videos of you whether they took it offline or something or you sent them pictures and videos and you guys have pictures and videos together or they have some type of item of yours they hold on to that um let's see what else person wants you to know what they want to tell you so this person wants you to keep some type of secret or they keep you very close to their heart where they don't really tell too many people they only consult or trust someone that they feel like is wise counsel they don't tell a lot of people um they wonder if you feel this this pull too or do you feel um this longing do you feel that too this person's never experienced a love like this where it's unconditional it doesn't have to have an explanation for what it is and why it is what it is they've never experienced this before i don't feel like this is like just infatuation because i do feel like this person does have a slight infatuation with you i don't feel like it's that there is a real resonance here there's a real recognition on both ends i feel like you both see each other in some type of way in a spiritual way so I don't feel like it's just one-sided. And Six of Cups came out twice. So there is a soul recognition between the two of you. So this, you know, be like a soul tribe member of yours or someone you know from a past life. They just wonder how they could have love for someone. And I, I get there could be distance. I do feel that. Um, so in the future, someone's going to be very focused, like their intention their aim is going to be shot in a certain direction. I feel you guys know what you want. Someone knows that they want this connection, even though they waver. Look, the arrow. I can't make this shit up. Spirit, it's working. I can't make it up. Someone is setting Cupid's arrow in the direction. Like, they want. I want this person right here. I want that pinnacle. And that pinnacle is this person. I want them. That's the energy. Um, but you guys got to work through your wounds, though. You guys are both wounded. And I feel like you guys also resonate with each other on that level. Because you guys may share similar room, wounds. Excuse me. Queen of Wands. So, let's... I'm going to clarify her. Queen of Cups. You got all kind of queens here. This person may have a lot of options or something like that, but they know who they want. And they may feel like you embody all of these energies, like you're every woman, literally. 
so they could see this in you they it's like i also feel feminine by you focusing on you focusing on your healing and being loving and receptive and compassionate towards yourself and others being in your power is going to attract this person more but don't do it just for this person do it for you yeah see the ace of pentacles came out again so someone feels like why would spirit give me something that i can't have or what i can't have right now it's still there it's still yours but spirit is like i want to see if i can trust you with this right now so it could be the insect in this card can represent patience some people patience is a challenging thing i'm going to test you in this area of can you hold compassion i want to test you with where you're at right now to see if you're really ready for this pinnacle because this is something of value you can take this and do so many things with this this is not something frivolous it's not something that's going to burn out it's not something that just washes away it's something that is concrete when you plant the seed it's got to it's going to grow but it has to be nurtured it requires patience and time it requires that positive energy in it that sunlight you know that positive light to keep it growing for it to flourish and there could be plenty of other things that sprout from this so can i trust you with this insect can can you have compassion or can you hold humility even in your adversity because insects can be quite annoying but they're all a part of god's creation still right so anything that we're growing through is still in the divine order of god or the universe whatever you want to call it still in the divine order it still all plays a role so i hope that resonated with you guys and look you got the sun card at the bottom so i feel like there will be some type of renewal in this connection at some point but you guys gotta trust where you're at you gotta stick to the to the plan like if this is something you really want you gotta trust spirit on this one all right that was pile number three now we're gonna move on to pile number four 6703 <sighs> okay teacher moses number four are you for real that's one of my songs my favorite songs from her all right so I'm going to tap into the archetypes and personalities and traits and character of your person. Your energy might come up, so it might describe you. Keep in mind because there's going to be multiple people that are watching and are watching this um, reading that not everything is going to be resonating with you. Okay, So you have to use your own intuition and discernment to, you know, just discern what messages are for me. How is spirit speaking to me? Is spirit speaking to me or not? You know what messages to leave alone because they might not be for me it may be for someone else so if this pile does not resonate feel free to check another pile if none of the message resonate with you then it might be that there's no message in this for you at this time all right so let's tap into your person's energy and see i don't know if this is the right um, phrase but someone has like un ugly duckling syndrome or something Someone feels like they're not as attractive or something. Or someone may have felt like growing up they weren't the most attractive person. Someone dealt with insecurities or self-esteem issues. Um, so there's some Scorpio energy here. There's some Pisces energy here. Could be Aquarian energy here. Um, it's very transformative. Okay, so this connection... It could be that someone um, has got their eye on what they want. They know what they want. Someone is a dreamer. Someone dreams big. Someone dreams outside of the box. Um, someone could be a very deep thinker. They process their emotions in a deep way. Change is not easy for some someone here. This connection is meant for soul expansion. Um, someone's consciousness expands with this connection. Um, I'm getting a strong masculine that I got this before, for like in a reading before, but I feel like 
there's a, a feminine that identifies as feminine, but they're really more in their masculine. Or it could be a woman that identifies as being feminine, but really they're the masculine in their connection and their masculine is really feminine or the feminine energy in the connection. It could be a man that's a feminine with a woman that's a masculine, if that makes sense. So I get more of a feminine energy from the masculine and more of a masculine energy from the feminine, if that makes sense. I hope I'm making sense with that. That's what I'm getting. Um... Some of you guys may manifest your dreams and your visions very quickly. Like if you set something in motion or your, your person sends, like set something in motion, they manifest it quickly. Um, there's a lot of changes that are happening. Someone can be a little fearful of this change because it's happening so rapidly. And it's happening in a way that kind of pushes the other person through um, spiritual barriers that they've put up or could be a little afraid to tap into spiritual energy in a sense someone's comfortable with um, how do i explain it it's like a person that is comfortable with knowing that yeah angels exist and yeah i know about chakras but they don't get into the root of like okay well there might be some things in this spiritual walk that you're not wanting to see it could be things about yourself that you're not ready to deal with you know someone is like okay with the surface of things but when it comes to the deeper aspects of spirituality someone is not willing to do that but like the masculine energy here is spiritual very they're here to grow and expand but you might be if you're a feminine you might be the one that is like shocks the fuck out of them kind of scares them a little bit because their spirituality may be a little disney and your shit may be quentin tarantino whatever you know it's a little mm, different levels here so i feel like this connection is meant to bring like a revolutionary change in someone um technology could be a big thing someone could be into technology i'm seeing a masculine energy with long hair um really deep set eyes they have really deep set eyes the feminine energy your eyes are very significant too um i'm getting like makeup something with makeup jewelry head stuff like head jewelry or head pieces or someone that wears hats a lot like so yeah um yeah feminine you kind of come across as very regal or just very intense you come across very intense some of you guys may be um witchy i guess you could say like this person is like into light stuff so yeah someone might be seeing things that they're not ready to see i feel like this connection just brings out what's hidden behind the curtain. It kind of opens the other person up to see things. And there could be a lot of paranormal things that are happening in this connection. Like you guys might be, your senses, your spiritual, your psychic senses may be awakening. This person could be seeing things. They could be smelling things more. You could be like, your dreams could be way more intense. Some of you guys may be having psychic visions. Divine insight. Clarify this. Okay, so there could be some Virgo Libra energy. There's a lot of um, fantasizing and daydreaming, or someone is like, there's a lot of dream activity with this connection. Some of you guys could be having sexual dreams or your person is having very sexual dreams. Some of you guys could be having um, visions of your divine counterpart or you feel like this person could be that. So it's like someone's kind of afraid to fully take in this connection. Like I said, it's like a lot at once, a lot of spiritual things happening at once. 
something with the 4th or the 4th of July, like sparks flying. Um, so you guys may have immediately felt an intense connection between the two of you, like immediately something with a social circle. So you guys could have met at a social circle or some type of event, but, um, Some of you guys met online and it was like unlikely how you met this person. How you guys met, it was very weird. If you told someone, they'd be like, okay, that's kind of weird. How did that happen? Like, if something about it is unlikely if you guys met online. If not, there's some type of distance between the two of you or you guys could come from two different backgrounds and it's like unlikely that you two would even cross paths or something. You guys were meant to meet each other, but someone is like avoiding the... The inevitable will be the uh, blah, 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 can't even talk. Someone is avoiding the inevitable because it's requiring some type of change that someone's not ready for. It's too intense. It's kind of scary. Again, feminine energy, you could be very spiritual to the point where it's like you're a mystery and I want to get involved. I want to see what it is behind that curtain, but I don't know. Once I see what I'm seeing, I don't know if I'm willing to really handle it. So you could be very intuitive, very gifted yourself. This feminine energy, you hold a lot of power, but it's so subtle. Like, you come across maybe as a little um, plain at times. And you come across as like, uns like, this is all unsuspected. Like, this person didn't even, like, the layers that, you're like an onion. There's <laughs> so many layers to you. Like, you just peel it back more and more. You know, it's just so many parts of you, I feel like. Um, so, on the surface, you just like a plain vegetable. You cut your, like, it's just so much, so many different layers to this plain thing. But it's so subtle. It's like, and when you cut an onion open, what does it do? It makes you cry, right? It's it, like shit. Like, so it's something about your energy that's intense. I don't know if that made any sense, but it's intense, like... So, someone could have, like, got ghosts. Like, I gotta go. <laughs> Bye. I'll see you later. See you next time. Could be an age difference between the two of you as well. Like, you guys could be different. Um, something about you is, like, very different. But your worlds collided. Like, you guys just came together in some type of way. But it was meant to happen the way that it did. You guys haven't even scratched the surface of what like what's behind this you know this connection but yeah i feel this person could be feeling like a heavy weight on them right now and my heart just got heavy there's something about diff being on different um levels of, or frequencies in some sense like one person's energy is fast moving and the other person is kind of slow or stagnant again like spirit is calling a change an ending someone is carrying on something that they don't need to carry anymore it could be a lifestyle it could be a job it's like spirit saying yeah i know it's not easy but you're being called to step away from something that doesn't serve you and i feel like this person's not ready they're not seeing the blessing and the gift in this ace of cups there's something here that is divine. It's a blessing from God or the universe, but this person's not seeing it because I feel like they're so used to what they see. The Knight of Wands came out twice. So yeah, I feel like you could be young, you and your person could be young, or your person is younger than you, or it's just like they've never experienced anything as in tune or in depth. Yeah, see, they're being called to surrender and let go. This connection came out of left field, came unexpectedly. It was unlikely, or the effects. It's like you get tempted to go into this fun house. Let's use this. Like, I don't know if you guys ever seen that movie, Us, with Lupita. Lupita. Um, but in the movie, when she was a child, she drifted off. And you know what guided her? It could be something with 1111. Could be something with 44, could be something with 444. But this per um this person could have been seeing that phenomenon and so have you. Something draw like pulled you into this person and vice versa. Like I'm just saying, let's say the masculine energy in this this connection. And I know I said that the masculine could be the feminine, but just roll with it. I'm seeing it's like a male energy I'm picking up on. 
came across as feminine and it was like this unsuspected something you just didn't know how intense it was and i'm also seeing references to the queen of the dam too like i'm just seeing a lot of stuff but in the movie us um the little girl she drifts off and she sees this homeless man holding a sign and it was a bible scripture um and it was 11 11 i think it was jeremiah 11 11 i think so jeremiah might be something significant too but she was following that sign it led her to the beach then it took her to this fun house and it was like something it was saying find your soul or find yourself and she went in that fun house she came across a mirror of herself which was her shadow self and you know if you ever seen that movie you know how the rest of it goes and throughout the whole movie she just kept seeing 11 11 all the time so until she finally met her shadow it was very like what the fuck like it was petrifying like it was like shit my shadow caught up to me or i caught up to my shadow whatever it was it was like whoa a shock so you could have showed something to this person that they were not ready to see about themselves or this connection just like whoa i did not expect it then i was seeing the queen of the dam it was a scene in that movie where um alia's statue she was um, a vampire goddess or whatever queen vampire whatever so her statue was sitting there and the, the the main character the um vampire man or whatever guy walks up to her and then she puts her hand out for him to bite her veins like it's a statue but it's doing all this shit he bites into her veins and it was so addictive so powerful but he passes out and he has all these flashes of all this shit like all this crazy shit going on excuse my language so it was like they seen you and it's like oh you know they're attractive they're pretty they're cool i like them and then all of a sudden this person just seen something or you just flipped their fucking world upside down and what spirit was trying to do was like awaken this person this person's soul wants to expand but the physical self may have had a different idea of what expansion was or how they were to go about that and this is something much deeper something much different than that i don't know if that made sense <laughs> all right interesting all right so let's see how this person is feeling that was interesting very interesting hmm i don't know i was seeing a whole bunch of different stuff but i was trying to make sense of what i'm saying i hope you guys get it um so this person wants to be their authentic self i feel like in the beginning this person was afraid to be their authentic self they don't really know how to approach this connection if you guys are not speaking or this person they could be afraid to speak to you they don't know what to say like i just get a strong feminine energy if you're a masculine you might not know what to say um this person could have yeah I, I get runner so like this person could have ran from you with the knight of wands coming out twice but i feel like they did it out of an impulse like this person wasn't thinking about the consequences i feel like they were just afraid um you were marrying something to this person or just something about you made this person go deep into something within themselves that they feel like they're not ready for um but spirit knows best like spirit knows what this person can handle or what you can handle they know that because i feel like you were also a counselor of some sort or you are or you're someone that could just read them and you know what to say to this person or you knew how they were feeling and you kind of helped them to discern what they were going through or something and they they felt like that was very comforting but at the same time it's kind of scary they feel like you're angelic or something i don't feel like this person looks at you as like benevolent like benevolent they see you as a benevolent being not malevolent okay all right <laughs> why do i get crazy trolls like Boost it down somewhere. Hold on, you guys. Alright. Um, yeah, but this person feels like your energy is 
you're angelic like you're out of this world like you're not normal you're not a regular person so feel like this person distanced themselves from you and you felt like this person did not share the same feelings as you but this person in essence like being away from you actually hurts them this person may feel like you're their one like i believe god made you as my equal this person could feel like you are their one okay so this person's being called to use their intuition because i feel like they've been kind of running from it in some instance or you need to trust your intuition with this situation because it might not be clear um they want to reach out to you but they're fearful they're i'm fearful of reaching out this person's afraid to reach out they did not expect this impact like whatever you brought they were not expecting it but they're grateful for something that you showed them or that you taught them about themselves this person may feel like they love you um was it this pile that said something about unconditional love? I don't remember. I uh, don't remember. I'm trying to think. Was it this pile? No. I think it was another pile. But yeah, this person doesn't... They just don't get it. Like, how? How? You are definitely a rare one. Okay. Let's see what else wants to come out. I didn't use my little fantasy cards. I'm just, I'm just going with the flow, y'all. Okay. You might have slayed some, some heavy demons for like, you showed this person how to overcome some very heavy things, so they feel like you were there for them during some very dark times. Something with death, I feel like too. Um, snakes there's snakes here there's a, a three-headed dragon so they feel like you're very powerful in your energy you know how to you might have a strong character or just presence where you know how to overcome spiritual things like they feel like you're, you're strong um the lover's card when they met you they saw something completely different than what they're seeing now these are two different archetypes there's a an elder here so someone's ancestor is involved in this connection but there's a woman that's pregnant and there's like the sexy woman on the other side so this person could have just saw you as like something on the surface of things but then once they really got to know you they that you are full of abundance you are full of spiritual energy yeah there's something with death or Scorpio energy with these skulls again like you a passion that this person had like this person may have had passions in life but you shifted certain desires that they thought they wanted like you were you're a wonder you're an enigma to this person enigma the Emperor Pigs have been coming up a lot, so I, I, if I'm not mistaken, it's a Chinese um, year of the pig, if I'm not mistaken. Or that could be someone's Chinese zodiac, but look up what spiritual meaning of pigs mean, because this comes up a lot. But the emperor is here. So this person could have been very sadistic or something. I don't, ooh, I said, I don't know about that word. <laughs> That's what I heard, though. Or they could have just been very superficial. But you flipped and turned their world upside down and now it was like maybe this person was all about themselves all about the superficial things in life money you know that type of thing but then this connection flipped their world upside down and they see you as like everything <laughs> yep they see you as everything So there's passion here, there's transformation, like there's something about coming out of the self, out of the shell, but there's pressure, there's pressure in this connection, but it's also a lot of um, healing in this. So this person could have dealt with a lot of different people and you didn't know. Again, there's something with this ancestor, this elder, the sexy energy and this pregnant woman here so you might embody all types of energy like this person is like 
sexy, attractive, beautiful, you know, I can make babies with them, and they're wise. So you have all these layers. Like I said, you got these different energies on you. Like, it's just different. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah. Ooh. They have the Ten of Cups too. So yeah, they feel like I'm being long with this pile. I didn't mean to. But it is what it is. Ten of Cups. They see everything with you. They see the kids, see the kids playing in the back. You know, like they would have a happy sex life with you. Like it won't just be plain and boring. But they feel like there's so much more to you still, even though they've gotten these three layers of you is more much 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 more than that that they have yet to uncover they also feel like you're a healer too angelic healer but like the sexy like how can you be an angel and you'd be like fine and i want to like hit you you know like i'm trying to hit that but you're like an angel too like you're like this elder that i respect how could you be all of this like i feel like you're just like what the fuck are you it's like those little cubic things i don't know how to i'm not one of those smart people that know how to do those things but like you're just what it's like what what do i do with you like i won't i don't want to put you down like dumb things be frustrating me i'll be like i don't know how to use this shit but i don't want to put it down i want to figure out how to do this i want to get the, the colors together so it's like they're frustrated with you but it's like i can't put you down like you're something i don't want to let go of like that's what i'm getting i don't know what you know mm. All right, so let's see what you can expect to come out of this energy. You can expect. Oh, they're not trying to put you down, you know? Or you're not trying to put them down. Not every message is going to resonate, you guys. So you're going to come out of illusion to certainty or this person, any type of illusion, um any type of illusion that this person has had about this connection or about you or maybe you feel like you have some things that you're not clear about there's going to be clarity and certainty that's going to come but someone has to open their mind there may be some type of limitation on someone's perception and thinking which this connection is meant to break those layers down through their swords so someone's going to recover from some type of hurt I feel like this person disappointed you. Um, like they ran. I feel like they ran from you. Some of you, they may have ran to another person because, yeah. But you guys are, are both dealing with her. You guys are both dealing with her. In the near future, though, I feel like you guys are going to address this in some type of way. There's the moon again, but in a different deck. Um, this person may not always see you as as fragile and I don't mean like in a low vibrational way but like how precious your energy is and how meek you are and how sometimes you're not all fearless and all of that like there's times where you feel like you need to protect yourself so I feel like you might also be vulnerable with this person in some type of way. Or this person is going to get clarity about you. They're going to find another layer about you. And they're going to kind of see you more in a humble light. Because right now they're seeing you as like up here. Or you're just like too much. But they're going to see. There's something with illusions. you got a lot of illusions here. Some of you guys had questions and answers. You're going to get the answers that you seek. And they could be different aspects of this. Like for some of you it could be. What am I supposed to do with this connection? How did this person really feel? Did they even really care? Like that type of thing. Um, spirit's going to give you that clarity that you need. It's going to come from spirit. It's not going to come directly from this person maybe. Or spirit's going to call someone out to address something in the past. Like spirit's calling these people up in the air. So you guys may... Um, you, you guys are going to be free out of this energy. It's like a stagnancy. Or feeling stuck because you don't have that clarity there's some type of not being able to see everything but remember the high priestess came out and the high priestess is all about secrets but she's not withholding secrets she's just holding the keys when you're ready 
to meet her where she's at so once you guys get to a place where you guys are on the same frequency of being open to whatever this connection is or just what spirit wants you to be with this connection you guys are going to get the clarity that you need and i feel like it's coming the more and more you guys heal through something the more receptive you guys are to receive you guys are going to get some type of download i feel like rather than this person coming to you and giving you the clarity but or you giving the person the clarity it's a download or you guys might give it to the other person in a subliminal way with you don't even realize you're doing it if that makes sense it's coming from a higher vibration like but this is going to be different for everyone so take what resonates leave it open to spirit all right that was pile number four i hope that resonated with you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this reading it was a lot of information channels but i do hope that you know you took what it was for you know what it was meant for for you all right so much love as always i appreciate you guys